Hi everyone, so I'm just back to share another journal with you. Um, this is a long, tall, skinny journal. It's not that skinny, but it's um, skinny-ish. And I was inspired to do this by um, come across a lady the other day. Her name is Chantelle LePage. Her YouTube channel is Red Page Cafe. And I will link the video that I saw below so you can go over and check it out. She'd actually made a an accordion style skinny journal i didn't do an accordion one but she just inspired me to make a tall skinny journal and i have used some of her ideas uh that she had used in that because she did do a eight part tutorial on how she made that you know from start to finish and then a flip through and um she'd done this it was a um design team project for um tracy fox that was back last year you may have seen the video but um if not go over subscribe to her because she's got some amazing um work on there and um great tutorials our journals are lovely so anyway i've done this i've made a three signature skinny journal and i've used nature's remedies i've used lots of different kits um but I will, i'm going to mention that right now um actually i'll give you the measurements first it's eight and a half by four it has a one and three quarter inch spine three signatures 120 pages front and back will be listed in my shop if you're interested right um i have used nature's remedies which is a collaboration kit with andrea who's arty maze and tracy fox and um obviously there's two kits one's in one lady's shop one is in the other i have used fern and mushroom from arty maze i've used arty maze's labels and some of her freebies i've used some of tracy's um other papers can't remember the names of them now i have used some tracy's um nature uh labels and i've used some of tracy's field knot layered tags um and i also want to say as this like i said this will be listed in my shop my prices are in british pounds they're not in dollars and i only ship out once a week which will be on a monday but my ship oh, everything gets done on a saturday so if it's after a saturday it will get done the next week it is all clear on my website so please read my listings before you purchase okay right so I'll give you the measurement. I've used this lovely fabric, which was gifted to me from um, Lou Greenwood. Uh, she sent me a lovely package uh, last week. So I used that. It's a really heavy cotton and it's in a kind of neutral oatmeal-y colour. And uh, I've used a um, an Amazon packaging folder thing, you know, when you get the books in them. And I've done all the uh, collaging inside with book pages and gesso and inks um, i've made this very simple topper here using pages and elements from the nature's remedy kits although that's not in the kits i think andrea might have put that up as a freebie um, so yeah that's the cover it's all been stitched and eyelets and organza ribbon as a closure right let's go inside that's the inside of the cover book page and gessoed and inked up and can see it's a nice little chunky one it's making sure that i am in frame i am okay right so the pages i've just cut down to size which i think they're three and three quarters and i've made pockets with some of the journal cards i've made tags with some of the pages from nature's remedies um or and the fern and mushroom two tags from the nature's remedies uh, this is one of Tracy's labels and that's a tab. We've just got some kind of digital ledger there, some dictionary. This is the old design shop. I've made a collaged tag um, on Chantelle's step-by-step uh, -step on how she done her accordion uh, skinny journal. She had used some of like, Tracy's tags and just like put them onto um, other tags. So that is actually part of a tag. Then I've just got some labels, some more of Tracy's labels, uh, Butterfly from Artie Maze. So I've done a couple of them throughout. We've got lined paper with some crocheted trim. This is the paper that I can't remember the name of from Tracy Fox. Um, here I've just got a little side tuck. That was, um, I made pockets using envelopes which are at the back of each signature and this was the bit that I trimmed off so I've just done some layering here uh, Andrea's tickets um, 
I think that's a freebie from Artie Mays and that's a little label from Tracy Fox. We have a tag here. This is uh, Andrea's from our oddment kit and that just sits in there. We've got one of the fabric tabs. I've done little clusters or yeah, snippet clusters, I think. Um, that again, I've done these before, but the way I've put them in was inspired by Chantelle's video. I've used some of Artie Maisie's eco papers as well. Made a little um, pocket there from the fern and mushroom kit and then just put that on there. That's from the oddment kit. Made some little tags here using just little tiny elements. Um, I feel all blocked up. Um, another little t uh, label there. Some of that eco dyed paper. Another pocket here. Some labels, uh, not labels, tags uh, from the kits. Uh, that all goes in there. One of Tracy's pages. Another little cluster there with the mushrooms from the fern and mushroom kit. Little lab uh, tab label, got label on the brain. Okay, so um, Chantelle had done these, I think she done hers a lot skinnier. But I think the journal was a lot skinnier as well. Um, I've made this out of an envelope. And then i just done some collaging on there. This is from Andrea. So is that Tracy's labels, Andrea's labels. Then here, the skinny tags that go inside. They're from Artie Mays. Can't remember if that's from one of the tag fabrication kits. Use some of that as well. If I didn't mention that earlier. Ticket. This is from Artie Mays. And a little label down there. And that goes in there Let's see if i can get that in there we go <clears throat> and that's the back of the first signature the second signature again is just a pocket that i made with um journal cards and shrunk them right down tag that i made from one of the pages um there we go it is going in um two tags from the kit just got some lacy trim on there and another label, which is from Tracy Fox, a tab, another tab there, another um, tag, which has got one of Tracy's uh, layered field knot tags on there. So it doesn't come like that. Um, and then I've just done some layering, <coughs> excuse me, layering there. Andrea's butterflies, Andrea's labels, Tracy's um, labels, the nature labels, another little cluster here. And that's glued. They're glued down completely. You can't tuck anything behind them. Little pocket there with a little tag. And another one of Tracy's pages. Another little tuck there. Just got a label. Uh, little, these are like domino size. That's a ticket from Artie Mays. A tag and one of them from the Oddment kits. It's like a flashcard. Some crocheted trim. Uh little bit of French script there, dictionary page, some eco dyed digital from Artie Mays. A, that's, these tabs are the same material I used on the cover. Another one of Tracy's labels, some more of that eco dyed paper, <coughs> excuse me, and lined paper, another pocket selection of tags. Another little cluster, another tall skinny pocket, and um, that's one of Andrea's butterfly uh, four stamps. That's from Od the Oddments kit. The label is the blank label is from Artie Mays, and that one is from Tracy Fox. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Artie Mays, Artie Mays, that's Artie Mays, it's all Artie Mays I think. I think that might be from the tag fabrication kit. So it's the skinny tag that goes tag that goes in there. Like so. On to the third signature. Uh, three tags. They've all um I think all the papers, that's one that I just made up from one of the pages, but the rest are actual tags from the kit. See if we can get that in a, in a one-er. 
probably not. <laughs> they will know it doesn't want it. It's like, no, don't want to do that. It's because they're uh, really long. I can't get my arms around. I'll get in. I'll do that in a minute. <laughs> Save some time. Uh, another Tracy label. Little tuck there. Little tag. Um, just more flippy pages. Another collaged tag using one of the background pages and one of Tracy's um, Phil Nolte layered tags. Butterfly, little label, one of Tracy's <coughs> labels there as well. Another little cluster. Crocheted trim on the lined paper, one of Tracy's pages. A uh, tag from the kit, that's from Andrea. When I say the kit, I mean Nature's Remedies. Little label there, some more eco dyed paper, centre of the signature. So yeah, this was fun to do. Um, and like I said, please go over and have a look at Chantelle's channel and subscribe. Um, because she does lovely work and I'll, I'll be honest, she should have way more subscribers than she's got. And she should be having way more views than she's got. She is... <clears throat> A lovely, lovely crafter. Um, so I'm just t sometimes it just takes a while to get noticed, I think. Um, <clears throat> another little label. Another little cluster. So I think tomorrow I'm going to make another nature journal, but just a tra Travis notebook one, But because oh, I really enjoyed doing this. Um <clears throat> And another long tag with collaging all over and that's all being collaged as well that's from uh, the oddment kit one of andrea's butterflies one of her labels that's from the oddment kit and that is from one of tracy's labels label kits and there we see that and that goes in there let me get that in which is so long and tall i kind of like these long tall pockets and the back page so there we go i love making this um i want to say <clears throat> just in case chantelle happens to watch this thank you very much for your inspiration on your accordion one even though this wasn't an accordion one but you you gave me inspiration to do certain things um so thank you for that like i said this will be listed in my shop if you're interested and if you have any questions just ask and thanks for watching bye